What up, y'all? It's your boy Trainer. We back again, and today we got some trap bar deadlifts. Getting on our way to the seven plate deadlift. So today uh, we're gonna start with a warm up of, of three plates. Work our way up to five plates. We're gonna do a five by five German volume training routine here today. Benefit the the German volume training is it helps develop size and strength, um, also power by keeping the rep ranges low but giving you a lot of sets to work with, five sets for this lift. Um, so we're definitely gonna lift some good weight here. Um, so we get a nice, easy warm up in, um, going straight into the workout. And if you notice here, when you're looking at my, my form, um, these, we're, again, we're training for power and speed here too. So these hips are definitely gonna be snapping nice and fast. You need to recruit those muscle fibers. So as I get up to the seven plates, I already have to be conditioned to recruit as many muscle fibers as I can to get that weight up. So speed is really important here. Nice and easy. Um, so what I was doing is I was supersetting that with a incline, uh, incline single leg squat. So I kind of uh, uh, stacked these, uh, these plates here to give myself an incline platform because there's no real slant board in the gym. So this is a good way I can fit my whole foot on a um, platform at an angle. Um, the reason why we do it at an angle is because um, whenever you have any sort of knee injury or uh, you have uh, inflexibility in your ankle, it'll still allow you to get good depth in the squat. So um, for me, the reason why I started doing these is I had, I had patellar tendonitis and I still do deal with it every once in a while. Um, which is the inflammation of the, the tendon right above the knee. Um, so basically, um, that is a good way to keep everything nice and loose, strengthen it up, keep it conditioned. Going back to our next set right here of our five by five, we're gonna come in, same thing, that speed snapping of the hips and causing earthquakes here. Uh, trying to, again, get those, those five reps in quick, but with power. Um, you can see that that it's putting a lot of strain on my hand um, over the the um, the COVID uh, COVID uh, ban or from the gym or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I definitely lost some of the calluses on my hand, so I got to build those up. So um, I'm gonna have to deal with a little bit of um, little bit of um, rubbing of my 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 hand. So you notice sometimes I, my calluses will tear, but in time, give it another two three weeks. I think I shouldn't have that issue anymore. So going back to these squats from a different angle, again, all that's coming from the hip, but again, the 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 um, the angle of our of this uh, incline really helps you get into a, a lower um, squat here. So deadlifts down, I'm not gonna show you all five sets. Um, what I will show you is our next exercise here, a goblet squat, same thing, same concept. We're on a, a, a slant right here. So basically we can get a nice deep, look how low I'm getting there, nice deep squat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pause at the bottom. If I wanna develop power, I wanna eliminate the momentum that I use. So I'll pause right here, explode out, and you can see that lockout. Boom, every time. So I'm gonna get 10 sets here, training for a little bit of endurance. I already got my heavy lift in. Um, in my training for myself, um, I kind of like to mix endurance and also strength. Um, and I kind of just go how I'm feeling. A little bit of intuition, uh, what I feel like I need that day. Good. So um, I did two sets of those goblet squats. Now I actually did two sets of these dumbbell squats right here. Um, so that the max stopped the dumbbell at 125 pounds. So there's only so much I can actually lift with that goblet squat. So I figured, let me um, add some more weight. Now with this, 60 pounds in each hand, it's about the same weight, but this this um, angle is really good because I'm gonna work my, my upper back in a different way. And I feel like I can start to load up some heavy weight here. So ideally I can get to 250 pounds for this squat. if I can hold those weights in my hand. Taking a little snack break, I got me some mango right here, dried mango, chomping on it, enjoying it. Um, that's definitely delicious. And um, I just bought all the mango that was at the, the um, store, so I might have to find another source. Um, Got to stay fueled during these intense workouts. So I had to speed this up a little bit. We have here, uh, I wanted to 
um, kind of switch up the the speed and the um, how my workout was going. So I'm just doing something a little bit different just to stay keep things fresh. This is a Turkish get a Turkish get up, um, full body workout. Wanted to work core, glutes, everything. So I knocked out three on each arm. Um, I wasn't really trying to focus on that today, but yeah, I, I on this day that I did it. Um, so basically. Uh, just knocking out three sides. It's three uh, reps for each side. Um, you know, just trying to uh, keep things fresh here. Good coordination. Keep shoulder locked out. My left arm's a little bit weaker. I got to improve that. You can see on this last set, I, I struggled a little bit on that last uh, last uh, rep there. So here we got some kettlebell uh, swings. Um, now, in the gym, there's only a 25 kilogram... Um, um, kettlebell, that's the heaviest they got. So I had to start doing um, uh, two-handed, uh, or two two kettlebell swings. Whatever you want to call it, double kettle, kettlebell swings. So together we're lifting around almost 100 pounds here. Yeah. So um, a lot of power can be developed through that. Um, can be very effective and also helping you to improve that deadlift. Again, it's all in the hip hinge. If we increase that, um, it's going to be a functional improvement in all aspects that we use that hip hinge. Um, I want to work a little bit of calf, some accessory work. Um, you're going to work calves with your squats and everything else, but it never hurts to hit some isolations here. So that's what I'm doing. Um, just want to ha just have a balanced overall um, strength. So when I go to attack that seven plates, I'm ready to go. And we're going to find, find, uh, finish right here with our Z press. Um, I wanted to get a little bit of shoulders in. I'm going to hit them again later in the week. But with this Z-Press, I get to work core too. Um, it's really, it's a really good workout. I started doing from the floor. Um, you'll notice in the next angle here, uh, your hands, again, you want it to be just like an overhead press. You want it to be back by your ears, your shoulders back by your ears. You want to um, get that full extension. You'll notice even me to get a better range of motion. Um, I'm going to poke my head through my, my, my arms. So let's watch right here. Poking it through, um, getting that full, full range of motion right here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna sit up nice and straight, poking that head through every time. Boom, boom, just like that. So there you go. Um, full body workout, kind of, not really. Um, really hitting legs. Um, you're gonna notice in my training that we're, uh, Focusing on um, having an overall strength, um, but again, this is a road to seven plates, so that's what we're focusing on. Um, Y'all have an awesome day. Peace.